Hey everyone, this is Alan from EV News and today we're going to be talking about the future of air mobility. We're going to be talking about EV tolls. So I'm going to give you the three companies to invest in and I'm going to give you a bonus stock, a company that I think is about to pop off hard. Before I get into that video, I'd like to ask you guys to go ahead, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Let's get into this video. Let's go. Before talking about the companies that you can invest in, I just want to go over the definition of what is an EV toll. So we're using Wikipedia here as our trusted source, but EV toll is electric vertical takeoff and landing. It is the type of aircraft that uses electric power to hover, take off and land vertically. So now that we have the definition, let's get into the companies. So the first company I want to talk to you guys about today is Archer. And what's really cool about Archer is that even if you think about the name and the logo, it's kind of like an arch, right? So, I mean, EV tolls follow this pattern, right? So you have the arch where it's basically like you take off vertically, you move up vertically, and then you hover, and then you come back down and you land vertically. So they are using that play on words, almost like Archer, right? Um, for their EV toll company. I love it. I think it's very unique in that sense. They have a fantastic website that I recommend going to visit um, and taking a look at it. Of course, they are introducing the Maker, which is the first urban electric jet. And what really sets these guys apart from the other companies that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about today is that Archer has already signed a definitive agreement to list on the New York Stock Exchange through the company Atlas Crest Investment Corp. And what is that ticker symbol? Well, that is right here. It is New York Stock Exchange ticker symbol ACIC. And then in quarter two of this year, 2021, uh, the merger will be complete and then the ticker symbol will change to ACHR. So what's cool about this company and why I've already started a position is because they already have financial investors, including United Airlines and even Stellantis. So uh, what is Stellantis? Stellantis is like an umbrella company that focuses on automotive. So you can see here, let me show you, uh, the brands that fall underneath this umbrella company are things like Chrysler, Citroen, Dodge, Fiat, uh, Jeep, Maserati, Peugeot, Opel, Ram. So you have all like, uh, Alfa Romeo, you have all these companies here, like automobile companies that fall underneath this umbrella of Stellantis and you can actually invest in Stellantis. Now, that's not what we're talking about today. What we're really talking about today, of course, is Archer, but I just wanted to share that information with you ex really quickly. Why do I have a position here? Well, because, um, like I mentioned, they're expected to close this uh, merger in quarter two of 2021. And then the valuation I received is a $2.7 billion valuation, which is quite impressive, of course, for an industry that is just beginning. And one of the big uh, investor highlights here is that Morgan Stanley estimates urban air mobility to be up to a 1.5 to approximately $3 trillion industry by 2024, so or 2040, sorry. So here we are in beginning of 2021. This is a long-term investment. This is an opportunity to get it in, in extremely early, hold these shares until they actually bring everything to market. So um, here is another big um, strategic and commercial partnerships that I was mentioning earlier. And there is, of course, United Airlines. And they already have orders with Archer worth $1 billion plus an option for an additional $500 million for their aircraft. Now, that delivery of the aircraft will be starting in 2024. So as I mentioned, this is a long-term hold, but it is one that I believe is worth uh, beginning a position. As I mentioned, I already have a position here. And then who else is investing? Well, like I said, I invest, of course, but one of the big people that invest is uh, Kathy Woods. Um, she has actually invested if you take a look here, she's invested 370,000 plus shares at $14.14. As you can see that that was on February 16th, 2021. And like I said, over 370,000 shares. That is amazing. She sees the opportunity there, of course, as well. And today, ACIC or Archer is sitting at $16.60. It did hit a peak. I have seen it hit um, $18 in like pre-markets. Um, and I, I believe even today in pre-market, it was sitting at over $18. And now it's sitting at $16.62. It's a good opportunity for you guys to take, maybe start a small position. One, once again, I do believe it's a long-term hold. And that concludes our Archer section. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got a lot out of that. 
So the second company that I want to talk to you guys about today is called Joby Aviation, and I think it looks really sleek and really sexy. Um, I really like the way that this looks, and I really like the direction that this company is headed. They have a lot of backing right now, and the rumored it is rumored that they are going to be merging or they're in talks right now uh, with reInvent Technology Partners. So you can see that there. It is RTP, as you see that the New York Stock Exchange ticker symbol is RTP. It is currently at $15.18. It looks like it just had some dip to like $14.74. I'm not sure if it jumped back up or something like that, but um, it is definitely a company to take a look at. I intend to invest a thousand shares once the definitive agreement is actually finalized because this is the company that I find most intriguing. As you can see here by this, from LAX to Newport Beach, that's in an, an hour and 16 minutes by car. But if you travel by the Joby, it is only 15 minutes, a total distance of 35 miles. And why am I extremely bullish on this or why do I really like Joby is because they actually acquired Uber Elevate and they have expanded that partnership with Uber. So Uber has also invested $75 million into Joby, which is obviously fantastic news. That was as of December 8th. 2020 and now with all the rumor talks and the anticipation that they're going to come to market this is a great opportunity here as i mentioned i plan on buying a thousand shares as soon as that definitive agreement is announced and then i will long term hold this another reason why i really like joby is because they already have toyota's help they already have a backing from toyota and with nearly a billion dollars in funding promises to have their air taxis aloft by 2023 which puts them a year ahead of even archer which is exactly why i want to get into this company and why I want to invest in Joby um, earlier. And then another thing is Joby Aviation has already generated their first revenues. They take key steps towards certifying their aircraft. They're doing everything right. This was as of February 9th, 2021. And then the last thing, like I said, it's pretty sexy, but it also has maybe like a militaristic look to it. And that's one of the reasons why they've gotten like an endorsement by the actual US military, actually by the Air Force, by the US Air Force, saying that they are the first airworthiness uh, like prototype for passenger, like I mentioned earlier with Archer, it just seems like it's a, it's a two person seater. This is a four person, I've even seen like a five person seater. I really like Joby a lot for that reason. So if you have an endorsement by the US military, and then of course you have partnerships with Uber, Toyota, and you're already generating some revenue, you're, you're really putting yourself out there to, um, to really take full advantage of like every industry there. It is of course my uh, top pick, but I am not going to invest until I get that definitive agreement from RTP and that Joby and them will actually be merging. So keep an eye out for that there. And that concludes our Joby section. I hope you guys got a lot from that. And I hope you guys are as intrigued and as pumped up about Joby as I am. The third company that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is called Lilium. And Lilium has this very beautiful EV toll. They are a Germany-based company with plans to expand across the United States. And they have already chosen Orlando as their first destination here in the United States. And as you're gonna see here, um, they of course talk about like from San Francisco, all the connections that they'll have there. But as I mentioned, they're a German company. So it's like Munich, all the way up to Nuremberg, to Stuttgart, to Zurich, to Venice. You can take one of these from basically like anywhere and then travel obviously uh, nearby uh, to like closer cities, right? So it is quite intriguing. Now, the one reason why I'm a little bit hesitant to invest is because they do not have a definitive agreement and they don't even have a specific like SPAC or holding company that they're going to merge with. The rumor right now is that it could be QELL, which is currently sitting at $13.50, or it could be Z. NTE or Zanet uh, Acquisition Corporation, and they are currently sitting at $12.81. Um, I do know a little bit about QELL because I've been following Proterra, and for one moment I thought it was going to be Proterra. If you look at their team here, uh, they do have Barry Engel, who was once the general, he was once the uh, president of General Motors North America, and he helped 
them um, generate more than like a hundred billion dollars in revenue. And then of course, Ryan Popple is on the board and he has served as a uh, CEO of Proterra. So I know a little bit about QELL. They have a great leadership team. I would not be surprised if in the end Lilium does merge with QELL or maybe even QELL finds another company that they feel more comfortable with. I know, I think they were trying to push for Proterra and that never happened, but that's okay. Um, this is a great alternative, of course. And that Lilium is so sleek. It looks so nice, so beautiful. I really like the design of it. It's much different than the other one that have the propeller type like almost drone like aviation aircraft this is much different right it almost looks like a little plane a little jet so i like it they do have uh the former ceo of lilium on their board which i think uh their the former airbus ceo has joined the lilium board which i think is a great thing for the company of course and that kind of sums up uh, part three, I'm not going to be investing into Lilium yet because they will not actually have any product or service until 2025. So of the three, they are the one who's like the furthest behind. The first one is Joby, of course, then it's Archer and then it's Lilium. So I already have a position in Archer because they already have that definitive agreement. I will go into Joby. Um, I will invest heavily into Joby and then I will once maybe Lilium picks up more steam and once they have more news, then maybe I will invest in them too, into them later. So hopefully you guys enjoy that little section and hopefully that helps you guys um, like get a better picture of where Lilium is headed. And now for the bonus stock that I want to tell you guys about. It is supersonic. It is Arion Aviation. And right now it is rumored to merge with altitude acquisition corp which is a l t u and this stock and this company is quite intriguing to me it is built on clean energy solutions and it's even saying that they're going to be uh the jet fuel will be created by pulling co2 out of the air but look at that thing it is very sleek it looks <laughs> it looks beautiful it is sexy and it is fast we're talking a thousand miles per hour 150 percent faster than the leading planes that we have today we once had supersonic planes or we did have condors the fast planes but that didn't work out unfortunately but now we're in new technology a new area and we're moving towards a high speed future and this is a company that i think a lot of people are excited about Woo! look at that thing um now it will not actually have any product until like 2024 and it will not actually have any service until like 2027 so we're talking like we're like way way early here but these are the kind of companies where you buy and you just hold with like hopes that ultimately that they will keep receiving funding, that they will keep um, being pushed forward. And they do have a lot of great uh, news behind it. Their partners, as you can see here, they are backed by GE Aviation. They do have a partnership with Boeing. Um, it's all across the board there. Raytheon Technologies is there. So I'm... I'm pretty excited about this. Like I said, it's backed by Boeing and powered by GE Aviation. So this is a is a pretty unique company because there's nothing like it in the market. And at right now, the merger talks or that that talk that it's going to merge with ALTU at twelve dollars and seventy five cents. This could be easily like a hundred, two hundred dollar stock like in the future, right? Boeing is sitting at 200. Why couldn't Arion, if it is the leading in supersonic and fast travel, why couldn't it be um, up there as well? So that is the summary. That is it. Those are the four stocks right there that I wanted to tell you guys about. I hope you got a lot out of it, the three EV tolls and then this supersonic. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you got a lot out of it. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And then, as always, know what you own. This is Alan from EV News, out. See you guys in the next video.